Hi, I'm Dan from Real Mac Software, and today I've got something really exciting to show you. We're going to be looking at how responsive design works in Rapid Weaver Elements. Now, we've been working on this for quite a long time, and we think we've really cracked it. This makes building responsive sites incredibly intuitive and easy. So without too much pre-waffle, let's just dive into it and have a look at what we've done. So I built this simple site here. It's a portfolio site and it's just a list of information. And up here, this is where the responsiveness comes in. So at the moment we're viewing the mobile version of the site. And when I click through these, it widens the viewport and right now we're on landscape mobile and I can click this one and it goes up to a tablet or iPad and you can see the pixel value there as I click through these and there is um, and that's laptop but as well as clicking on these to just jump to the viewport I want to see I can also resize the viewport here so and watch when I do this these icons will update so as I scroll through these you can see it just highlights the icon so I can instantly see, oh, okay, this is the iPhone version and this is what I'll see on mobile. And as I drag it up here, okay, that's uh, the laptop. So this is a really nice way to work. Now you might be wondering, well, how are these set up and can I, is there any more? Can I add more or can I get rid of some of these? And of course the answer is yes, you can. If we open up the theme studio, we have our list of responsive breakpoints in our screens area. So right now I have just these ones enabled, but if I want some more breakpoints, I could enable that and you'll see it adds a new breakpoint up here and I could add another one. And then now we've got all these. And now when I resize, you can see it goes up and down the list as you would expect but uh, I don't want all of those because we're just going to be working on a subset of these today. So let's switch a few of these off. Um, yeah, that should be good, I think. So, and I can change all the pixel values in here. So if I wanted to set these up for specific devices or things I want, um, then I can do that in here. And that's really simple just to change these values, but I'm going to leave them as they are. Now you might be thinking that's great. Uh, now we've got this responsive design or viewport built into here, but you might be wondering, well, how do we customize this? How do we change the way this looks? Because while this design is great for a mobile, because everything's in a single column and that's great. And I can come along to here and that's still great when I'm on a portrait phone. But when I go to tablet, I don't necessarily want it to look like this. That's it's, we can use some more of the space. So how do I, customize this for uh, different um, viewports. So what I'm going to do is I've got the uh, my little header here and what I'm thinking is I want to have these two uh, to be 50 50 at the top because now we're on a lap um, now we're on a tablet I've got a bit more space. So to override the default mobile settings here what I can do is I can just click on uh, the text label and you'll see this is now highlighted and that means we're overriding the default values from the mobile layout. So we don't want this to be 12 columns, we want this to be half. So I want to take this down to six and you'll notice it live updates, we're in edit mode, but it live updates to show me what I'm doing. And we want this one to appear up here. So let's select that grid item and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight that and bring it down to six. Now, you may have also noticed when I changed these, a little dot has appeared up here. If I just hover over this, you can see, uh, and that tells me this is where I've changed the value. So now if I resize my site, when we come down to mobile, I've got a single column. And when I jump up to tablet, I've got a 50-50, so it's split in two. But you know, now I'm thinking, well, on desktop is even wider and I probably don't want these 50-50 because I want this to be bigger here. So what I can do is if I go to uh, that grid item, <clears throat> I go to that grid item, I select columns and that, that means we're going to override it again. And you'll notice at the top where the device icons are, I've now got two dots. And that means this value has been overridden from the default mobile value in both of these viewports. 
and um, so let's let's change this because I want that to be wider let's change that up to maybe eight and then let's go and change this one and I click that again and get that there so now when I move this back and forth you can see we've got a single column double column and then uh, and then that's split so this looks better on on desktop and it's that easy and I can find out where these values are as I said before by just hovering over this I can see that I've changed these on these two for example if I went down to uh, mobile landscape and I could click on rows and change that and now if I come up here on columns I've changed those but if I hover on rows I can see oh I've overridden the value um, down at the previous uh, viewport and if I want to get rid of this because I was just demoing this and I didn't want this value I can just click on it and that will reset it and reuse the mobile setting so it's that easy so let's um, carry on and change this a little bit more because I don't want these all in a list so again it's really easy we'll click on this and I want that to be three and we'll do the same for the next one and I want that to be three and remember we're on um, we're on the tablet here setting so I want that to be three and this one I want that to be three as well so uh, let's do that three there we are so now um, I set that up and obviously when I'm on mobile scroll down and they're all in a list and you can see the value changes here and when I go up to uh, the tablet you can see uh, it's changed to three and if I'm on desktop it sticks on three because that's how we've set it up um, yeah so you oh we have some issues down here that I could fix uh, let's have a look at that so I could just let's just fix that up there we are so it is very easy to build up these custom layouts on these different viewports so you know I can just come in here and I could select uh, that grid item and let's put that back to 12 on this one and this one on 12 so there we are so now I've got them in a single column there everything's in a single column and I've customized these top two so they're all split up and that's in a single but then when I go to desktop uh, I've got these two here and uh, these four here oh and I just need to tweak this one a little bit and that's no problem uh, let's have a look where we are there I highlight that grid item and we just want that to be seven so you can see this is a super super easy and fast way to manage your layouts for responsive design and it is so much better than how we used to do it so rather than you might remember it if you're familiar with building sites in classic and stacks when you're building responsive sites you often have a whole ton of um, controls there for all the responsive designs um, you know for columns I might have five different settings and have to move them all when I'm looking at one thing but here you can just jump to the view you want to see and adjust those settings if you want to override it you know it's it's as simple as clicking that and adjusting it and this is just I've since we've implemented this and got it working in the app it's absolutely amazing I loved it it's just so intuitive and so nice to work with and just so powerful so easy um, I hope you can tell we're really excited about this feature because we think this is absolutely a, a massive step forward in the way of building responsive websites on the desktop and this is becoming increasingly important now uh, with over you know web traffic with over 50 percent of web traffic is all mobile related um, it's absolutely huge and it's just continuing to grow so um, making sure your websites are responsive is really important and before it was very hard to see what it looked like on all the different devices and then change the way it looked on all those different devices but now it is so simple it's a click of a button you know this couldn't be any easier so I'd really love to hear what you think of this 
how we've implemented this. Is there anything missing or is there any way we could improve this even further? Um, you know, we've been we've been working on this for a long time and we've really thought hard about the best way to implement this. And there's been a lot of trial and error and this is the current solution we have. So I hope you really, really like this. So um, that's all for today. I hope you can see how great this is and how excited we are by the way Rapid River Elements is shaping up and what we're doing here. All right, so leave your comments down below as always, and I will be back next week with another video. All right, thanks as always for watching. Cheers, bye.